culinary bud. Hey, you know, yes. All right. <laughs> what What's your life been like since uh, at, at Virginia game? Uh, How much different is it? I wouldn't say it's that much different. Just a, a lot of interviews, um, a lot of more fan love on the campus, uh, just around the city of Baltimore, um, and even all over the DMV. Just a lot of love, you know, just to see the impact we had on the city um, and the whole DMV. It's just incredible. Curious, considering where you played in high school mm -hmm. and some of the teammates that you had <laughs> that are in the NBA right now, how much did your experience at DeMath actually help you in this process? I helped a lot. You know, I got to play with a lot of pros, even coming into DeMath as a freshman. Um, I think I was with Quinn Cook, uh, Big Dollar Depot, Jerry and Grant, Jeremy Grant, James Robinson, uh, Mikael Hopkins, uh, Justin, um, Justin Black, a lot of pros, even overseas guys. So I'm um, just competing against those guys on an everyday basis and then now watching them in the league, how they operate and how they handle themselves outside the court. Uh, it, it helped me a lot and I've learned a lot from them. You mentioned getting more attention. How long did it take for things to sort of get back to normal at all or did it ever? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's gotten back to normal now. Um, I'd say it was, cause I didn't, I don't even live on campus anymore because I'm a grad student. So I was off campus a lot, but um, I would say about two weeks after, I mean, you still got recognized in the street and then on campus they're like, oh, congratulations. But as far as like all of the media attention, it just died down to like just a lot of local interviews and stuff like that. Do you look at that, what happened that night and how you played and the attention you got as sort of a launching pad for you know, the, the, the pro career and, mm -hmm. and what you had envisioned all along? Um, first of all, it's just a humbling experience to be able to make history on that, that, that type of level um, against the number one team in the nation. Um, but as far as like uh, setting myself up, it's definitely good to get an opportunity to play on the big stage and, and step up and show, show everybody what you're capable of. Uh, but that's just a starting uh, starting point. Nothing's promised, so I got to keep working hard every day um, to continue to, to reach my goals. What have you been uh, doing for the last few weeks, getting ready for for this mm -hmm. opportunity? Uh, a lot of conditioning, um, as far as conditioning, like one court conditioning, basketball drills, uh, two a days, as far as on court workouts, uh, lifting, getting a lot of turf workouts in, to work on speed and agility. Um, strength, uh, just a lot of repetition of three on three, one on one, uh, shooting because you know you got to be able to shoot the ball at this level at a high rate. So, just a lot of uh, most importantly, being able to shoot that NBA three. What do you think you can bring to an NBA team? Uh, just a great character guy, um, work hard every day, uh, great teammate, um, and just going to do whatever the coach is asking me to do. Where, where have the workouts been? Uh, this is my first workout. Oh, no, but no. I was in uh, Florida at IMG training, so I've been there for a month. Okay. Yep. Do you have any other workout schedule? Uh, yes, I'm going to Toronto on Thursday to work out with them. What's the process been like for you? Just now kind of shifting from, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a crazy march to yep. now trying to set up a professional? Uh, well, you know, just coming from a mid-major, the process is going to be different from if I came from a high major because, you know, I didn't get invited to those, uh, the combine on force mount. So I've just been really working out and, and training, working on my game from, I took about a, couple days off after the tournament and then I got right back to the gym. So I've just been working out ever since and finishing school, of course. How, how, how long have you been in um, in Orlando? I mean, not in Orlando. Florida. In, in, yeah, in uh, I went down to Florida on the 22nd of April and I've been down there ever since. I just flew back uh, yesterday to come to this workout. Mm -hmm. Who were some of the other uh, prospects down there that you were working on? Uh, it wasn't that many people this year. It was just me, um, a kid named Ben Lammers who went to Georgia Tech. Um, uh, he's, he's also signed to the same agency as me, Tandem. Um, and then uh, Karim Cantor and his Cantor little brother came down for about a week and a half. Uh, just us three, but I was the only guard down there. But I got to play, I got to train with um, uh, a good kid named Jesse Edwards, who actually coaches there. And then Rashad Phillips, who was a lead scorer at Detroit, and won the Nate Smith Award in 2001, I think. So I got, to, I got a lot of good work down there. Jerry, so are you a point guard, shooting guard, or are you just a combo guard at this level? Uh, well, given my height, I'm going to have to play point guard, but as far as like what I can bring to the table, um, combo, being able to score, get my teammates involved, and then, you know, just being a, a pest on defense and trying to bother everybody. <laughs> what do you know about the Wizards? Just kind of their personnel and, you know, you're, you're in the backyard, so what do you yeah, know about well, the team? I've been to about four games this year. Uh, I know John Wall was hurt a lot of the year. Um, Bradley Bill, you guys have a lot of firepower in, in starting five. Um, some, way, some ways I can help is just coming off the bench, being, um, being able to defend, uh, make open shots. Um, and like I said, just doing what the coach is asking me. Um, 
what was it like having John in there for the mm -hmm. workout? Uh, that's just great. Anytime you can work out in front of a, a player of his caliber, one of the best point guards in his league, is always great. Uh, what kind of legacy do you think you personally left at UBC? Um, it's hard to tell right now. Um, you know, given the time it just happened, but I think later down the line, it, it, we, can, we can look back on this and say that was a great moment for UBC um, and just NCAA and history of basketball and, and period. So. Uh, I'll probably appreciate it a lot more when I'm older. Uh, it's kind of still sinking in right now as far as what we did in the tournament, but uh, I think as I get older, it starts sinking in. I heard Ryan is reloaded for that next year. He's got a, he's got a guy from Providence. Mm -hmm. sitting out yeah, they should, they should um, I think they should win the uh, tournament again, not the tournament, but uh, the American East tournament again. I think they have a good shot at winning it and then going to the tournament and trying to continue what we did this year. Have you watched that game? Uh, or how many times have you watched that game? I actually haven't watched it yet. Oh, okay. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I don't know when I will, but um, when I do, it's going to be a special moment. Thanks, man. Thank you. Uh, so, um, you feel like you were able to show the Wizards uh, what you're capable of in this uh, workout? Oh, I mean, I just try to come up every workout and just stay focused, be true to myself. And, Show my athleticism, how it, plays, how it plays a big part of the defensive end, and try to make as much shots as possible. What type of things did they run you through today? I mean, a lot of things. They ran us through defense, competing, I mean, set shots, different shots off the catch, different shots off the run. I mean, just trying to get a feel of how we are as a player. I mean, testing our ability to make tough decisions. So there's a bunch of things I feel like me and all the guys, we did really well with competing today. How is this different than Chicago last weekend? Uh, what you mean? In terms of like working out now for an individual team as opposed to working out for all It's very teams. different. Very different. I mean, competitive level is definitely up. And this is what you've been training for for two months. So it's a lot on the line, but you just got to come out How much, and uh, play your game. Sorry. How much uh, homework do you do on that before you come to visit? And if you did some, what did you kind of know learn about the Wizards? I mean, I know a lot about the Wizards. I mean, they got tough guards, they got tough wings. And they got a strong presence inside. I mean, they're a team that wants to play fast, and they got a fast point guard that needs players to keep up with. So that's what I try to show in this workout: show how fast I can play and how composed I can play as well. Did you ever play with John and pick up maybe in Kentucky in the summers? Oh uh, no, never got to play with him in pickup yet. So was he in there for the whole workout? Yep, he was in there for the whole workout. What was it like doing your workout with him in there? I mean, I know him for quite a while now, so it's not like a shock or anything. I mean, he's a good friend of mine. Just try to go out there and play. Just try to go out there and play. I mean, I feel like he knows what I'm capable of. And I know what I'm capable of, so that's pretty much it. What do you think about a potential fit if you were drafted by the Wizards? Oh, I'm ready to fit on any team. I mean, whatever the coach wants me to do, I'm willing to do it. How many more uh, do you know that you have workouts you know you have right now? Oh, I got plenty pending. I mean, no set dates yet. I'm still trying to figure that out with my agent. Mean anything to you? Uh, the, the interest that the Wizards have shown, obviously talking to you at the combine out here. Yeah, definitely. It means a lot. I mean, for any organization to show interest, it means a lot. You I mean, just got to keep working hard, keep coming in the workouts and showing guys what type of player I am. Appreciate it. Thank you.